Good morning, everyone. What's that? We are getting our stuff together. Just go drop a car on one side of this block of public. Go hunt our way through again. Coffee. Let's see. You gonna drink a Red Bull at 4:50 and or 3:50 in the morning? Got to do what you gotta do. Good. Squirrel's getting his game face on early. So, I'm gonna grab myself a bottle of water. And try not to die before lunch. You got everything? Anyways, we're gonna back out of here and kick his car off and start on this side and work our way to the other side. So, it's breezy again. I didn't think it was supposed to be quite this breezy this morning dang it it's clear though real clear but it is definitely breezy and cool again so we're gonna make lemonade with lemons and get in there we're gonna hear one gobble we're gonna get in tied on him two of them actually together brothers two-year-old brothers and we're going to uh get in tight and see if we can't Whoop one. All right, we're starting to walk in. Gotta slip by a house first thing here. That sits right on top of the National Forest and we're hoping they don't have a dog. <laughs> I think I think like some fun. Cause they, they pulled in, when we pulled in, I heard a dog. I'm hoping that thing didn't come from close. We just need to be real quiet on this first little stretch. So I'll catch up with y'all on the flip side. Well, guess who forgot the keys again? <laughs> it's very important when you do a through hunt in part one car on one side and one car on the other side. For whoever's got the car on the other side, <laughs> to keep the keys. We're slipping through a big block and wanted to do it when it was still plenty dark. Get about 400 yards into it. I just happened to say, hey, Mark, you did remember your keys this time. Now, and I'm fairly certain he just bumped a turkey out of the tree walking back to the truck. I don't know what else I would have been, even though it is very dark. Thumbs blew out of the tree. It's daybreak. It's silent as far as we can hear. All we hear is the wind through those pine trees. So we'll consult with maps and start moving around, seeing if we can find something. Well, Still ain't heard turkey. Oh, not a real turkey. Got a guy. He's come in calling out here. Which if he's been here all season, that could be why there ain't no turkeys in here. I've killed a turkey in this block before. It's a desert today. I don't know if that guy's been in here hunting a lot or perhaps it just ain't no turkeys. I don't know. We're gonna slip out around him. We got to go try another piece somewhere. Yeah, but we got to get down it. Get on somewhere's new. 
I've got a bluff here, they, as they call it on the map. Did just bump a hen off the nest. He was using this bluff, and it seemed like it'd be a pretty good spot to nest, come to think of it. There ain't much gonna be walking the side of this that could bump into her nest, like, you know, armadillos and possums and coons and coyotes and all that. Should be pretty safe. Thanks, really. We're about going up here, it's like snakes or something, I guess. Got up there, she got some good understory to hide her from the crows. She's a pretty smart old gal. Not to mention, when we stumbled up on her, she just took two hops and she glided way down there. Back here at camp. It's early to do that out of the truck in a while. Right, went out of turkey. Tired of even hearing one. A little jerky. We're making coffee. Ham sandwich. A little coffee. Get filled up. It looks like it's gonna be a long one. That is ready to go. We got a bananas in that box. This yeah. bread kind of tastes like a banana. Banana bread. Good for you. Make it hard. Keep it from cramping. Shaping up to be a nice day. Hmm. Nice little spot you found here. Just wandered up on it. Killed a turkey back in 2000. 11, I think it was. Here? Hmm. I thought he'd have some descendants that would still be in the same area, but he doesn't. They were evicted, apparently. Squirrel, we ain't got all day, let's go. Y'all see what I'm working with? It's, uh, I don't know how quite to explain it. I guess it's, the best way of explaining it is kind of like trying to turkey hunt with Your feet in concrete blocks is what it'd be like like hunting with. With one of those parachute things on my back. You know those people will run and they'll throw the parachute out and they'll glide. One of those on my back. Catching the wind. Dragging me down, basically. That's what it's like. Are you over there flapping your lip again? Seriously? You're gonna get your other eye punched in. I didn't get this one punched in. I think I and then rubbed it with some dirt on my fingers. Maybe been digging my butt and then I rubbed my eye. And next thing you know, no, that's that's pink eye, ain't it? That's pink eye. Anyways, y'all see what I'm working with here? You're a mess. I'm a mess. I'm, give me that camera, because the next time you fall asleep, I, the, the people need to see what's really going on. I know on. what's going on. That's why we just stopped and got this out of the cooler. People because really need to see because what's going on. navigating. I'm, I'm doing it all here. Because the hey, I'm I'm I and then I just I change, take my clothes off because it's 50 degrees. I'm used to 80 degrees. It's I stir when it gets to the spots where we're supposed to be stirred. One of them lithium batteries, <laughs> buddy. When I'm going, I'm wide open, but buddy, I die quick. All right, when the chumps see me travel a lot of stuff, everywhere you go, you travel with all the stuff. You're a man of many stuffs, mm -hmm. yeah, huh? You 
you always got a bunch of sh who travels with a nail brush what man for sure travels with a nail brush me a nail brush yep. don't look like you've been using it with them ratty fingers i ain't had to dance i'm going like 100 miles an hour i don't have a chance Here's his nail brush, everybody. Too busy messing with your shit all He time. travels with this. Hey, right I do. Hygiene. Notice how I don't have my eyes all poked out. Show him your eye. God I... bless, buddy. You <laughs> stink. <laughs> I ate your Taco Bell burritos yeah. for that purpose. All right. We're going back in. We're all hopped up on Red Bull. So, we're gonna get up here, do a little yumping, do a little cutting, do a little kiki running, a little kiki cackle cluster. We can do whatever it takes. Stir one up. This ain't exactly what I got in mind when I think of turkeys, but. Hit some turkey scratching as soon as we come out of the truck. More so than we found all morning this morning at the first spot. So it's promising. It doesn't really strike me as crazy good turkey habitat. According to a guy we just heard on the road and talked to on the road, this area that we're in was flooded like all until a couple days ago, like everything in the low. And so the hunting pressure has been kind of less because you can't get access to a lot of these spots. There were some vehicle tracks parked at the same spot we just parked at, so I think this one was a high spot. So, but there were turkeys scratching in here, so. Fishner, walk off this knob into a deep bottom and come up the other side, and then we're gonna work our way around. Checking for scratching, just checking for sign, just trying to find turkeys. We're in that seeking stage right now, not the actual engagement stage, which is part of it. Dicey boys. I don't know about that squirrel. rocked out here. Need a freaking rope. Spot to live in a rainstorm, huh? You ain't kidding, huh? What's been up in here? I don't know, I don't know. Kind of. 
Got a bobcat right there. You know, like some bobcat tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see them? Oh, yeah. This right here is a coyote. Right? Yep. That's a big That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the hair, where they've been laying. See that hair? There's all kind of hair in here. See it all where they've been laying? Hell yeah. Look at it all. <laughs> it's a den. Mm, nice, little, nice little spot, huh? Still trying, but no luck. Hadn't really hit a bunch of signs, just some scattered scratching here and there, and nothing real fresh, so. I don't know. We may have to hit some Wi-Fi to McDonald's or something tonight and start completely fresh tomorrow. We'll scout, you know, we can only hunt for another about an hour and a half, but we'll scout all the way till dark, trying to find some fresh sign or something to start on because uh, today's been a bust. And I really wanted to kill one today because the next two days are just a weekend and I assume we'll probably get pushed around by other locals and stuff. Unless we double right here. Still trudging along. A little bit more sign where we're at now, but still a little fresh. Um, kind of too late to get back to the vehicle and kick some another spot. At least while we can hold a gun. So we're gonna uncover every nook and cranny in this one block that we have to check here. By his careless footfalls and his pace has quickened, <laughs> I can tell that he's given up. Like a ninja into one. He goes from hunting mode to just dragging his damn feet, I'm tired mode. I can tell we've already hit that mode. We've got a big bottom here. Another ridge top on the other side. Private fields are rock quarry, I think, maybe, down there on the right. Flat bottom. So, cut a lot more sign on this ridge top, but it's a long ridge top with little fingers. We call down into them with no luck. But, all the sign is very dated. Oh, this is five minutes. Like a month old. Mm. But anyway, got beef jerky. We're uh, we're going not gonna go down without a fight, people. I need that Rocky music in the background. Dun 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 dun. dun. Eye of the tiger. Mm-hmm. 
water needs right now. It turned out to a pretty day. You got a little breeze, but not too bad. Sun's out. Yeah, if I only have one shirt Sun's on. out. If I only have one shirt on, we're doing well. Mm-hmm. All we can do is keep swinging. I pick my feet up. I have more energy now. He never picks his feet up. You're full of shit. This, this channel and its content is use, biased. You might as well use roller skates. <laughs> you might as well skate in here. <laughs> this content is so biased, you guys. Don't even see the whole truth about it. We need a camera following the camera because you get the real story. This is like a Kardashian setup here. <laughs> That's what they used to call me in cross country. <laughs> Hard, Hardwoods Ninja. <laughs> just slip through here, boy. Slip. Just, just, just. just you got just, steamrollers on your feet, then he looks back at me just, and starts screaming at me. I just skip from leaf to leaf. <laughs> like a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call me squirrel for nothing. I know. This big and loud as hell. Yeah. That's exactly what a squirrel does. survived the walkout barely and we were spent the rest of the evening so we met a few hours left by the time we got out of there riding checking fields beautiful evening for turkeys to be out in the fields found one gobbler out in the field way over on private uh, so far in private i don't even think it's possible to get him to public and uh, a couple hens is all we was able to find we covered a lot of ground uh, then we went to one of our areas that we saw some hens early in the day right after we come out between our first and our second between the two hunts today between the two times we entered the woods we saw three hens in a field we went up behind it and owled and had a turkey gobble way off way off um so we're gonna take a swing at him in the morning for sure. Discuss another game plan if it is possible. I've got uh, all kind of got to wash up here. Got all my sweated to death today. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna uh, hurt him gobble way off. Owled, got out of the vehicle straight from the road. Oh, and he gobbled. I was like, oh God, it's a turkey gobble. So that's the first one we've heard all day. We almost went all day without hearing a turkey gobble. I mean, really close to going all day today without hearing a turkey gobble. We did. And he gobbled and we grabbed, you know, grabbed everything. He's got to try to not out again and gobbled again, way off. Of course, I threw my crap on, threw my boots on, took off after down the road further, trying to get closer to get a bear. And of course he never gobbled again, so. Um, so basically what I'm telling you is we know what county he's in, but other than that, it's kind of a crap shoot. So, um, fixing to get, uh, tidied up here. I've got to take all the footage off this camera and put it on the hard drive. And I got to take footage off the big camera and put it on the hard drive. And I got to wash my head, fix the sandwich. So... I'll be up for a little bit later. A little while later, it takes a lot of time to get some of this stuff done, but bringing you guys up to speed. Because after we got out of the woods earlier, we were freaking dead. But we came back and had something to eat and got back on the road trying to find turkeys. You know, I, I didn't expect, we only allotted three days for Illinois. They only give you five days on this season, through season three permit, but we only allotted three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday because I had hunted here in the past and we were coming to that area. I thought that whole uh, seek phase would, uh, would be really short, non-existent. I thought for sure we would be right in turkeys and that didn't happen. Things have changed since I was here, which I should have known better. Um, should have done a little bit more preventative research in case something like that happened, but I didn't. Squirrel didn't either. So now that's why we're stuck out here on an island so 
That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Squirrel's fault. We got spots to go. We just didn't like them. Squirrel's fault. Squirrel called a biologist. The biologist said, hey, we did an NWTF field. I'd start there. Like oh, everybody in the, we actually went over there. Oh, nobody knows about it. It's hidden. I said, I guarantee you drive over there. There's a friggin' sign, a billboard. Because if it's, anybody, it's any agency, said, any habitat improvement, I'm sorry. Any agency does anything, gives money to anybody, they gonna want their name on it. So we drove over there and there's a billboard about the size of the cab of this truck. NWTF, you know, I was like, yeah. With bullet holes in it nonetheless. I was like, yeah, no. That's that's not gonna work.